software such as VirtualBox. So in my case, I will use VMware Workstation to illustrate uh, uh, this process. As you can see here, I have Windows 11 installed on my Windows 10 machine. I, I make this happen by installing uh, VMware Workstation. And on top of VMware Workstation, after enabling the virtualization technology on my uh, device, I uh, installed a Windows 11 machine, and now I am I have the uh, desktop of Windows 11. So in Windows 11 machine, I will open the web browser. So uh, in the browser, I will open Google, and then I will type VirtualBox download, or or to be exact, or or uh, in order to be specific, I will type Oracle VirtualBox download the way that I will do right now. Oracle VirtualBox download. So uh, the first result uh, in Google search, I will open it. It, it say it's called download Oracle Box VM and this URL is from Oracle website. So depending on your operating system machine, in my case, I am using Windows uh, operating system. So I will choose the image for Windows. Uh, once I click on it, it will start the downloading of uh, the virtual box image. Now I started to download the virtual box image. So assuming that I already have downloaded this image before, so now I have on my desktop the VirtualBox binary uh, software. In order to install it, it's a very simple steps. All what you have to do is to run this installation file and hit next, 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 except on anything that you may encounter during the installation process. So it's a, it is a very a simple way uh, for installation. It won't it won't be a problem for anybody who who will try to install it. But the most important thing in order to make things happen correctly, you have to enable the virtualization technology from the BIOS as we uh, mentioned earlier. If you don't know how to uh, enable the virtualization technology in your uh, device, just uh, you need to uh, know what the version or, or what is the model of your motherboard. So uh, now it, it is prompting me to install a device. So I will click install. And that's it. It, it should uh, now, uh, I should now have VirtualBox installed on my machine. Uh, if I need to install any operating system, all what I have to do is to open the icon of VirtualBox, but I will, I will uh, okay. wait uh, now. The installation is officially finished and the software is currently installed on my Windows 11 machine. In case I want to run the Oracle VirtualBox, uh, just double click on Oracle VirtualBox icon and this is the regular image of VirtualBox uh, once installed. 